Welcome back to Retire Too Soon and today we're going to be replacing the intake manifold gasket. Welcome back boys and girls and today we're replacing the intake manifold gasket. If you haven't seen my last video where I painted the engine parts, I'll try to link it above. So if you want, give that a watch. I noticed when I was doing the pressure test, I was having a leak from the intake manifold gasket. So I'm gonna jump into it today and we'll get it fixed. All right, in order to get to the gasket, you have to take off the intake horn here. Mine's the aftermarket one. You got to move some bolts and you're gonna have to disconnect the fuel system. Be prepared to be able to bleed the fuel system. Turn out to dump fuel everywhere. And the much as you can keep in the lines, the better so you can restart the truck. So I'm going to start by taking off the intake horn. When taking off the intake horn, it is a 7 16 to remove it. Next, you want to take the throttle linkage. It's held on by three bolts. They're on the inside towards the middle of the motor up front. You'll see three. You do not need to do anything with the throttle cable. You're just moving it out of the way. Make sure you put all the bolts and everything in a place where you're not gonna lose them. Now, I don't recommend doing this. It would be a lot better if you had a breaker bar. So you take a big wrench, put it on it, hold it so it doesn't slip off, and then you can bust it loose. Hopefully you see how it's pushing. So this presses against the handle. So I don't recommend that, but it's a little trick to get some leverage. These things are on pretty tight. So, oops, gotta flip it around. Oh. Little tip of the day. All right, once you get the three bolts out, just wanna move it off to the side just so it's out of the way. So you can get to the bolts that are right here. So next, we're gonna work on the fuel lines. So you wanna remove them off the injection points right here. And then I'll show you what you need to do on the actual fuel pump. I forgot to mention, you do wanna remove your block heater if you have one. It comes right off after you remove the four bolts. Be careful of the wiring and stuff. If you want, which you probably should, disconnect your batteries. After you get the fuel lines disconnected from the block, you're going to want to start removing the bolts from the intake manifold. You do not need to disconnect these lines. They keep them together. Hopefully you can see like this line here. You want to keep them together. You just want to take off the 10 millimeter bolt that holds it down to the intake manifold. All right, once you get the 10 bolts that are holding down the intake manifold, two of the bolts on the right-hand side is gonna be holding your filter for your fuel and water separator. The next one down on the driver's side is gonna have a wire attached to it. You need to, I think there's a clip or something, but you just pull up on it. I just pried on it up, which is probably not the right way. So now your manifold is nice and loose. You wanna take your three-fourths wrench and you don't want to go to the fuel pump. Sorry, my wireless mic died. Once you get it removed from the pump and it's off from the block, it should slide right out. Make sure you don't remove any of the bolts that hold the lines together. Try not to bend them. When you put them back in, it'll be very simple. You'll know right where it needs to go. You're going to use a three quarter inch wrench to remove the lines. And I end up not removing all of the injector ones, so I'm just going to slide it out. But you still need to loosen them up on the injector pump so you can get it out. Also on the injectors. You're going to want to clean the cover nice and good, get off the old gasket. Alright, once you get both sides clean, make sure everything is nice and spotless. The more you get off now, the better it's going to seal. Hopefully you can see that. I pick up this gas set at Napa. The part number is MS95087. I took the gas set out, put on the back here. So next I'm just gonna slide it in. I'm not gonna use any RTV. 
And this kit does come with the gasket for your intake horn. All right, once you carefully make sure that the gasket is laying flat, the holes are lined up all the way around, you're gonna to wanna to put in a few of the screws to hold it in place. And be careful with it. Last thing you do is tear the gasket that you just put on. All right, next you're gonna to wanna to start putting on the fuel lines that attach to the fuel pump. Remember the order you did it in, go in reverse so it's easy to put on. Refer to the owner manual if you want to know all the specs on the torques and everything. I'm just going snug. Don't try to over tighten it because you don't want to strip it out. But make sure it's tight enough so it doesn't leak. Alright, once you get the fuel pump lines in and snug, put in the fuel lines that go into the injectors. Make sure you get them all snugged. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the truck on, crank it one time real fast, just enough to get the pump to engaged so I can check for leaks. I'm not gonna start it. I just want the pump to engage because it's best to do it now than get everything back together and have to get everything apart just because one of the lines is leaking. All right, make sure you get all the bolts in before you start tying it down. I believe the two bolts that hold the fuel and water separator, they're different. So I made sure I put them two back in the fuel and water separator holes to hold it. So what I'm going to do, as I said, refer back to the owner's manual, is I'm going to start from the center and I'm going to work my way out going in like a star pattern to try to make sure it tines down flat as possible. And I'm going to go over it more than once. So I'm gonna tighten it down, and I'm gonna tighten it down a little bit more, and then I'm gonna do the final snug on it. So it's not gonna be straight tight. So just take your time, make sure it goes down as flat as possible so you get the best results. All right, once you get all them bolts nice and tight, don't forget to get the wire in the back, push back on that bolt that's on the driver's side close to the firewall. We can move this over here to get out of the way for right now. We still need to clean that. And then we need to install this. Get the three bolts and then reinstall. Next, when you get done cleaning the heating block part here for your intake, don't forget to put the gasket there, which I haven't done. But make sure you use both gasket and then put your intake horn back on and tighten it down. All right, once you get your intake horn and everything back on, double check everything. Make sure you get all your tools and all the stuff out of the engine bay. So the next fun thing is to see if it starts. So cross your fingers and wish me luck. I just put a charger on it. I'm gonna try taking off one or two of the lines and see if I can bleed it out. All right, I took off that first one completely off. I mean, it's still pointed into it, but let's see if it bleeds out. I got some feel out of it. I mean, it'd be a lot easier if there was two people. Probably gonna have to do it to all of them, but we'll see. Let's get this one on and I'll try starting it again, I guess. I doubt just one's gonna fix it, but I guess you never know, right? All right, I'm gonna crack a few more, bleed them out, then I'll get back to you guys. All right, so I got two of them to bleed correctly. My wife was end up out here to help me. So I got at least two of them done, and maybe we my lucky charm, and I'll have her start it and see if it fires. All right, love, try starting it. All 
Alright, hopefully you guys can hear me and the audio is not that bad. So, finally got it done. I take it for another test drive tomorrow. So make sure that you run it, check for leaks, drive it, check for leaks. Before I left, I noticed that one of the pump lines was loose. So I had to put that back on. Took it for a drive, noticed another one was loose. So tying that up. So it should be good now. As I said, tomorrow I'll take it for another drive and just check in and make sure everything stays nice and tight on the fuel pump. So just make sure you double check it, make sure you have no leaks. <sighs> Gotta love Alaska, it's 10 o'clock at night right now and you can still see me, it's still daylight. <laughs> Hopefully the quality looks good. Anyways, I hope this helps. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next video, thanks for watching. Bye.